We may think that we've conquered flight, but compared to the natural world, our mastery of the air is basically rubbish. The first creatures to fly weren't birds. They were insects. For centuries, their secrets were invisible, wing movements lost in a blur of motion. We're only now starting to get the full picture. Not all insects are quite so elegant. The bumblebee is an aerodynamic mystery that had scientists baffled. A big, fat body supported only by tiny wings. Now, how's that supposed to work? The confusion started over 70 years ago when a French entomologist calculated that bee flight was aerodynamically impossible. Ever since, scientists have struggled to understand just how a bee's apparently random flapping can possibly keep it airborne. And at first, even seen in slow motion, the mystery doesn't get any clearer. Here she is, lurching through the air. She even has to use her legs to balance herself. Elegant, it's not. The only way she's staying up is by furiously flapping at an extraordinary 200 beats every second. That's why she's so round. Her chest is a mass of muscle to power the wings. Now, I'm not trying to set fire to them, but this smoke should help us see what's happening. As the bee beats its wings, air, or in this case smoke, is pulled downwards. This generates lift, but not enough to keep the stripy buffoon airborne. Only in super slow-mo can we see she's actually rather clever. At the end of each downstroke, she twists her wings over. So even on the upstroke, the smoke is still pulled downwards, giving her double the amount of lift. And you don't get that with an aeroplane. By looking into the invisible world of high speed, human engineers are discovering a range of animal secrets they can use to develop even better flying machines.